Hey, what's going on guys? John here and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. This lesson is meant to just be an easy strumming acoustic version. I'm going to take you through all the chords you need to know and show you a sample strumming pattern that you can play along with the original recording. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. We've got new lessons dropping every single day, so really hope you get a lot of value out of this content. All right, let's get into the lesson. We're gonna play three chords, and this song just has one main progression that's repeated through the entire song. It sounds like this. This is a four bar progression. The first bar, we're gonna have a B minor chord. Then we're gonna go to an A, and then an E. Those are the three chords that you need to play. Let's start off with the B minor. I'm gonna show you a bar chord version, then I'll also show you a version you can play that doesn't use a bar chord. It's a common substitute I use when I'm showing students songs and maybe they're not quite ready for bar chords yet. So first up is the bar chord. We're gonna play from the A string down. We'll put our first finger on the second fret of the A string. And then your third finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Your fourth finger right underneath that on the fourth fret of the G string. Then your second finger on the third fret of the B string. That's the B minor. If you can, you do a little bar and grab the first string, the E string, on the second fret. That's a B minor bar chord. It's a really good chord to know. And then we're going to go to an A. A, we're going to play from the A string down as well. Open, and then second finger on the second fret of the D string first finger on the second fret of the G string and third finger on the second fret of the B string open E that's your A chord and then the last chord is E we're gonna play open E all six strings on this chord open E second finger on the second fret of the A string third finger on the second fret of the D string first finger on the first fret of the G string, open B and open E. Sometimes I use my second finger and cover both of those notes on the second fret so it looks like this, but I'm playing an E chord. So those are our chords. One more time, we've got a B minor, an A, and an E. Now let me show you the easier version of B minor as well. In case this bar chord's too much, just substitute this chord. We're gonna start on the A string. We'll put our first finger on the second fret, and we're gonna go every other string on the second fret. So it's two, then open D, then two on the G string, open B, and two on the high E string. I'll line up my fingers, one, two, three. That's gonna be a B minor seven chord. So it's like a little bit of a jazzier sounding chord. B minor seven. So you can use that in place of the B minor if this one's too hard. So whichever one is comfortable for you. All right, let's put them into the progression. I'll, I'll use that one for now. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna give that first chord four counts. Then we're gonna go to A for four counts. One, two, three, four. Then the E lasts two bars, two, three, four, or eight counts, however you want to think about it. A one, two, three, four, then to A, two, three, four, then to E, two, three, four, a one, and that's it for the whole song. So you might just want to try going with the recording and just sort of like marking the chords along with the song. It can be really fun to practice that way. Here it is one more time. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. All right, so you've got those chords. Let's learn a strumming pattern that goes with this progression. Here's what we're gonna do.
Let's start off on the B minor seven chord. We're gonna do a down strum on the first beat. One. And then our hand's gonna come back up, but we won't play the strings. Then we're just gonna alternate two and three and four and eighth notes. So it's a quarter note. One and then two and three and four and eighth notes. So one bar through the pattern is one, two, and three, and four, and, and then it starts again. One, two, and that's it. Just try that on this B minor seven. Then we're gonna put that with our progression. So we're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and A, two, and three, and four, and E, two. Now on E, we're gonna do the pattern twice, because remember it lasts for eight counts. Or two bars. Okay, let's jam it four times. We're gonna play it a little bit faster though, closer to the actual speed of the recording. Here we go. A one, two, three, go. Second time. Last time. Let's end on an E. There you go, guys. Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Take those three chords and put it all together. Have fun jamming along with the recording. If you're interested in learning more lead playing, like what I did at the beginning of this video, you can click the link in the description and get a free PDF that's over 100 pages long. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions. It's all about soloing. So check that out in the link below. Also, if you want to follow along with me on Instagram at John McLennan, you can. Really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you very soon in another video.